So when we take this thing, we're going to put that on. And once again, we want to tend to go high and tight. And in that high and tight, the, the process or the thought process to that is that um, it'll allow us to, to squeeze everything in there against the long bone. So we want to make sure that you're going through the buckle here because these come through. They're not always hooked up to the buckle. So you want to go through that buckle. All right, get that nice and snug. And once we get that snug all the way through, get as much Velcro uh, coverage as you possibly can. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the windlass here. Okay, it's already attached to it. And we're going to twist that until we do what? Control the bleeding, right? So once we control that bleeding, then you can simply lock it in here and then take your uh, little white tab here and you go ahead and go right over the top and then put the time that the tourniquet was on there, okay? If that didn't control it, you could technically go ahead and put a second one on as well. The pressure dressing, let's talk about that real quick. The pressure dressing we can use the Israeli bandage for. It's designed specifically for that. Several ways to put this thing on. I've seen it put on no less than six different ways, but in this case, um, once again, you have the padding right here. We're going to put this on. We're going to bring this around. Okay, we're going to go through here and what this is by going through this little bar and pulling back what you're doing is creating direct pressure on that area and then you're going to go ahead and wrap this nice and snug. Make sense? Uh, I've seen once again several different ways. Um, do what you need to do. Do you always have to use the pressure bar? Not if you're having to do direct pressure, you don't have to use the pressure bar. So um, you can come around there if you want. You can go ahead and hit it one more time and then go back. All right. Uh, I have seen people where they'll come in, they'll go through the center, they'll hit on either side like this. This is the way that they actually showed us when we went to the class. They hit on either side, and then they came back through here. And then what that does is help hold it to where there's more surface area intact and it's not folding over as much. Um, and then once again, you uh, finish up with that thing going around, and then you've got the little uh, hook on the side here to lock everything in. So on both sides. So you just have to kind of create creative. Like I said, you can use these Israeli bandages for numerous things. Israeli bandages, once again, are in the black kit here. All right, there's usually three to four of those things down in here. Um, they're in the little white pouches or darker pouches. And you break them out. I have this. You can use these things for leg wounds, head wounds, arm wounds. You know, uh, go across the abdomen, you can use it for several things. Uh, once again, you can use, if you can get the hand through there, you can actually create a sling out of it. So there's several different ways that we can use, uh, use these. They're very, very versatile. And uh, like I said, we carry them in the, in the little dynamic trauma care kit. But the idea here is we have a large wound in a juncture. Okay, we're not going to pack the thoracic cavity, right? We're going to seal the cavity, we're going to pack the junctures, and we're going to tourniquet the extremities. That's the way that we remember this. So with this, what we want to do is we're going to reach in here with our gloved hand, and we're going to put pressure on that vessel, the vessel that is leaking, right? Then we're going to take the uh, gauze, we're going to put it in, and we're going to pack against that. We're specifically going to push this right down against that. And what we're trying to do is we're packing from wherever that vessel is, right against it, packing outward. Makes sense to everybody? And you continue to pack this until we get that taken care of. Almost there. All right, so we're packing that wound in the juncture. And if you have extra, you can cut that free. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to set it aside for the moment. Um, so that's how we're going to do our wound packing. Once again, put a pre direct pressure on that and then feed it in and use that to push against it. So this is the vessel. I'm holding direct pressure against it and I'm going to take that. I'm going to pack up against it and keep packing against it until I pack away from wherever that vessel is.